Lots of fans out here Tuesday morning for one of the practice rounds, and one of the people they anticipate seeing later today is Scott Verplank. I'm Dave Morris alongside Jenny Carlson here at Oak Tree National, and, and Jenny Verplank is going to be one of the fan favorites throughout this tournament. He definitely is, and, and if folks want to get on his good side on Wednesday during the practice day, <laughs> saying happy birthday to him. Scott Verplank turning 50, which makes him eligible for this Champions Tour, and uh, I got to think he's a favorite to, to possibly win out here. His home course, uh, he's a younger guy on this tour, and I think he does have a great chance to win. Scott Verplank addressed the media this afternoon. I know most of the people in the room, so it's been pretty well chronicled. Um, but, you know, any time you get to play a, uh, particularly a major tournament on the golf course that you, that you live on, uh, that I practice at every day, that I, that I love, um, you know, what a great, it's a great deal. I mean, it's, uh, I'm thrilled that, um, I'm thrilled you're having the tournament, but I'm thrilled for the club and for the community. Um, Oak Tree has never been better than it is right now. The conditions are uh, Best time, but I, the only time I can remember them being close to this were the, was the 1984 U.S. Amateur. So the last time the USGA was here, y'all, you guys must know what you're doing on getting the place in good shape because uh, the golf course is perfect. So um, I'm very proud of that, and I, I really just want all the guys that are playing uh, to like the golf course and and you know just appreciate what a great place we have. Uh, I am a little concerned this week. I've never been here. I've never. This is the first time I've set foot on this property. Uh, I'm going to have to kind of learn this golf course really fast. I'm going to play this afternoon a practice round. I'm going to play in the morning. So I've got 36 holes to try to figure this out, uh, which is not, you know, uh, that's, I was able to do it at Omaha. Hopefully we can figure it out and get a good game plan, good course management. Uh, and hopefully my ball striking will be allow me to, to hit it to where I need to hit it and uh, go out there and try to defend the title. I think this golf course just sets up for a lot of uh, shaping of the ball off the tee, and, and you really better be able to control your distance off the tee. I think that's probably the biggest thing. I got up on the 10th hole yesterday and hit a nice little cut three wood down there, and it was literally one foot from not the water but going into the into the rough straight straight through. So the the speed of the fairways they're they're very firm and and they're in such great condition condition and low cut that. Um, that's going to be a little bit of a challenge, especially to, to gauge the wind, to gauge the height of the tee shot you want. Um, there's going to be a lot of thought. It's just not going to get up, tee it up this high and let it rip and chase it down and hit it again. I mean, you're really going to have to maneuver your ball and uh, uh, you're going to have Sunday, you're going to have a uh, worthy champion, whoever that might be. No, I think that if we have any party, it'll be next week. Um, I don't think I already told my wife that I didn't want a bunch of extra people over at the house. Where are you going to have a bunch of extra family and <clears throat> friends that want to use our house as a parking lot? So <clears throat> I said, well, make sure all the doors are locked so that nobody can come inside, please. Um, I'm meaning all her friends. <laughs> um, no, I, yeah, you know, I, I guess. Yeah, last night I was at like 10 o'clock. I was sitting in my office opening mail because I'd been gone all day and. Uh, open the mail up and I just plain looking envelope there it is open it up and it's an AARP membership application I went oh my gosh <laughs> so I was like you know I kind of joke about that but I was like oh well I guess it's it's real <laughs> so we'll see I didn't fill it out yet though okay <laughs> It's pretty cool, Jenny, walking around here, seeing these names that you've seen on the TV forever. We saw Gil, uh, Hell Irwin tee it up just a second ago and smack one right down the fairway, and I was tempted to say, get in the hole and, and be that guy, but, but there are other big names out here as well. I'm glad you didn't, by the way. But yeah, these guys play a boring brand of golf. They hit it down the middle all the time. I don't understand how, how this works. I don't play that way at all. But Gil Morgan, I think, is a guy, when you talk about sort of those uh, names and faces we've seen for a long time, I think he's a guy that's going to be a sentimental favorite, even among Amongst the golfers who call Oak Tree home, I think they would like to see Gil make a run at winning this U.S. Senior uh, Open because his career is kind of winding down. But as we talked earlier, Scott Verplank, a young guy, a guy that could potentially make a run. Seems like the, of the Oak Tree gang, probably he's got as good a shot as any to win this thing. And Oak Tree National looks beautiful this week. Uh, one last note on Scott Verplank. He'll be part of Junior Day tomorrow on his birthday when he turns 50, as Jenny mentioned. Uh, I believe there will be an event at 2 p.m. Scott Verplank and Desmond Mason. Hey, more coverage from Oak Tree National every day in the Oklahoma and online at newsok.com.